Hi. Welcome back to Adventures in Smooth. I'm Sydney. I'm Tanner. That's Tanner. Today we're putting in our floor. We're starting to put in our floor. I think if everything goes well, I think we can do it in one episode. Well, I hope so, because like one time I want to be in the whole episode. Well, we got four days. I know. Well, and we're taking Saturday off, I guess. Well, we could Saturday night, probably. All right, but let's get to flying. Let's get it done. It's the cheapest one. Come uh, for us. <laughs> yeah. All right, Booker Beans. So this is the underlay that we got. It is the cheapest underlay there is, which I think we just had to make an executive decision. Tanner really talked himself into it for like five minutes, so. Yeah. The the nice underlay is cork underlay, um, but it's $100 a roll, and this is only $30 a roll, and it would have literally doubled the price of our flooring install which mm -hmm. i think is crazy yeah it seems silly to pay the same amount of underlay as you do for flooring yeah so we just went with this cheap stuff if it sucks well shit happens um so what we're gonna do is we're gonna put down this underlay and we're gonna staple it to the floor um on the sides of the underlay there is like this kind of sticky tape that you peel off and uh, kind of stick the pieces of underlay together. So we're gonna run the underlay this way across the bus, all the way down the bus, because I think it's gonna be a better use of the roll um, than it will be if we go lengthwise. More precise. Yeah, yeah, I think it will be better. And then on top of that, then we're gonna lay, we have laminate flooring, and we're gonna lay the laminate flooring on top of the underlay. And laminate flooring, we don't glue down, we don't screw down, nothing like that. It actually kind of floats on the floor. Um, now we are gonna be putting our walls on top of um, the floor and then screwing through it. So there are gonna be some spots that are holding the laminate in place, um, but mostly the laminate will be floating for expansion and contraction. And uh, yeah, that's really it. I think it's gonna go well. It's a pretty square area. Like we don't have lots of curves or bends or anything to deal with so i think it's not like a house yeah i think it's gonna go pretty well so uh um oh, yeah no let's stairs. get to it <laughs> yeah no stairs stairs suck um no stairs yet i guess we have three steps at the front <laughs> yeah all right let's get this underlay down That's it. Next up, flooring. Wow. <laughs> okay, guys. We are going to start on the flooring. <laughs> um, so what we need to do to start the flooring is we need to actually take a couple of these pieces into, yeah, into the garage and cut them. So we're going to actually have a four, I think it's four step stagger. I think these boards are about four feet long. Maybe they're a little bit less, so we'll have to measure it. Um, but we'll have one full length board, then a board that's 12 inches shorter, then another board that's 12 inches shorter, and then one more board that's 12 inches shorter. How many centimeters is in it 12 inches? Well, it's like 20, like it's like, it's like 300 or 30 centimeters, but it's actually not quite. It's like 29 point something, it's something weird like that. Because like most of the world doesn't use feet and inches. Well, usually in construction you use feet and inches. Here in Canada and America. Here in Canada they do. Yeah. Use inches too. I know. I don't think we have many people that watch from like anywhere else other than Canada, United States. I think we have one person in Ireland. Maybe it's because we're not accepting. Okay, well, guys, just do the conversion. Okay, millimeters <laughs> to inches is twelve. Okay. No, twenty-five. <laughs> twenty-five. <laughs> okay. It's actually like twenty-five point four something something something, mm -hmm. but just use twenty-five. So two hundred and fifty plus fifty is three hundred. Good to go. 
All right, so let's uh, let's do that now. Hello. All right, Booger Bean. So what we did is we went inside and we cut some boards. So we've got boards that are 12 inches long. 24 inches long. Yep. And we've got boards that are 36 inches long. And 48. And then our full length board at 48. So what we'll do is we'll put a full length board in place first. And then we'll put a 36 inch board, 24 inch board, 12, foot, 12 inch board, <laughs> and then back to a full length board. Um, but unlike how we did the ceiling, you can't really put a full length board beside a short board. You actually have to be able to be past the end of that board. So I know that sounds kind of weird, but we'll show you how that works out. Um, but yeah, let's start getting them in there. Um, that's it. Okay, what? so now what we'll do is we'll take the next board and we'll click it in here first. Like this. And you want to make sure your edges are nice and straight. Otherwise you'll have issues further down the road. Then we're going to stick that up against the wall. Um, but we need to have about a 5 16 inch space along the wall. And I don't think I have any spaces, but we've got the cardboard right there, which is the exact size that we need. So let me just cut up a couple pieces of the cardboard there. Okay, so I just grabbed some pieces from the, uh, the box of cardboard. And it looks like about four of these pieces is about 5 16 of an inch. So I'm just going to take them, cut them up, and then we'll put them along the edge just to space the piece of laminate back from the wall a little bit. Um, so that's what I'm going to do next. So just got to cut these guys. Okay, so now we can click our 36 inch boards in. Or our 36 inch board, which I think is this one. Is this 36 That one? looks right. Okay. So now we're going to click him in. And we're going to line up the end nice with the end of this guy. There we go. Well, then put the cap close. You're the camera lady. I'm, ne I'm never the camera lady. <laughs> now, 24 inch, same thing. We just pop it in. We just wait one second. Like so. And then, 12 inch board. We do the same thing here. Put the 12 inch board in. Yeah. And it just lines up there. And click it in. That's it. Just like that. Okay, now what we're going to do is we're going to grab another full length board and we're going to put it beside there. Okay. So we'll grab a full length board. Make sure you're putting it the right orientation that it will click together correctly. And we'll stick it in here. So you come in at an angle, push it in, and this is where, if you can you get close here, babe? You can see the gap's not quite right, so you need to push them so that the gap is nice and tight. So that this edge is exactly lined up, otherwise you'll get these weird gaps throughout your whole floor and it will look silly. So you want it to look nice. Yeah, you want it to make sure it's nice. Then you do the same thing here, and you get on the angle, and then you push it down. And then what you have to do is actually get an extra piece of flooring, is what works really good. I didn't quite get it all the way in there. Now this is when it can be a little tricky to get apart. So you gotta make sure you get it all the way in. Otherwise it will make yuckies. Like that. And then push it down. Stick it in nice, come on. There. And then what we have to do is actually get the end and kind of squeeze the two together and while you're doing that you got to make sure that this end doesn't come apart which happens a lot and if that happens you have to take the board out and put it back in a couple things you need to do is um, one of the cutoffs that you made um, from making like the 36 inch and 24 inch boards you're gonna have to sacrifice um, keep these around because sometimes you can use them at the other end of the floor um, you can use them to like piece in um, but you don't want to be when you're hammering the boards together you don't want to be hammering on a finished edge because sometimes the board will split um, and if you have that on your finished edge you're screwed now you have a yucky 
Isn't there a tool that does this job? No. Are you certain? You can buy you can buy a piece of plastic that you put in and hammer, but no, there's no tool that puts that together. You no, have no, to I hammer. No, 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 but you have yeah. Okay. You can buy something like that, but using a piece of flooring for free and using a hammer that you already had is a lot cheaper than buying pieces of plastic. Okay. Yeah, so just use this. Okay. <laughs> and then make sure your cardboardies stay in there. Now our walls are not perfectly straight, so we gotta make up for that as we go. Um, so now what we're gonna do is we'll take this guy on here. Can they see that up there? Uh, I don't know. So we take that guy and we put him in there like that and then we hammer it like that and that will close up this gap on this side back here and you want to go until this side is nice and tight. Now sometimes what you need to do is have someone stand on here at the beginning boards which is what I'm going to have to do. So Sid do you want to come stand on this side? Mm -hmm. Just so that the boards don't move. Because otherwise the, these boards will move and this won't get any tighter. It's the first time I'm standing on the floor in my home. So you go like this and give it a good whack until that's nice and tight. So is that nice and tight, babe? I think so. Yep, that's nice and tight. Just like that. And now, same thing on here. If you're having a board that isn't closing up, you can take your, your oh, piece of... Um, oh, sorry. I'll go on the other side. If you're having a part that's not really closing nice and tight, you can take that extra board you have again, and you can give it a couple taps to see if it will tighten up. Sometimes it just won't tighten up. But it's not bad, actually. This is a little, needs a little bump again. And you just want to make sure it's nice and tight as best you can. That's all. You just want to make sure it's as tight as you can get it. Oh, this is hitting board, not the left board. There we go. So that guy goes in there. Like so. Just like that. So now, what we would like to do is obviously put another full length board. But we can't do that until we put that board and then another board. Another, like, do you know what I mean? Yes. Because if you put a full length board, like, say you put this full length board in here. Now you can't put that board in. Oh. Because you would have to like click this in. Oh, okay. And these boards will get in the way. Yeah. So you always have to make sure you're working Up. in like a staircase across yeah. the floor. Otherwise you'll get stuck and you won't be able to do anything. Okay? Thanks. Yeah. Okay guys, so now we can no longer put in any more full boards on the floor. So what we have to do is measure one board, two boards, and possibly three boards. And then we can cut them, and then we can start putting full boards again. Um, so I'm going to show you guys how to measure that. You want to hold this one here? Mm -hmm. Bring it in here. Bring it in here. So now, when you're measuring down here, let's just uh, turn on the lights. Ooh. There you go. Romance. So now when you're measuring down here, so I'm going to measure from this 2x4. And I'm measuring to the top edge of the um, wood. So I'm measuring right to this edge right here. And then I'm gonna subtract about a quarter inch so that we're able to A, flop it down on this side, but also gives us a little bit of an expansion on that, on that end of the board as well, which we need that kind of space on both ends of the board. So this looks to be about 19 and eight. So we are gonna cut it 18 and seven eighths. Actually, we're gonna go down to 18 and three quarters. Just so that gives us enough space to get it in there. So we put those three in there um, with the help of my dad. Um, so just a couple things that we did do is obviously we have that gap that we were talking about on this side. And then what we used, oh. it's just because this is, oh. gets what it's I made. It's um, This is like a flooring tool and a piece of foam. And you put that down and you put that flooring tool like that. Make sure it goes right to the edge. What? Pull this. Oh. You want it here because this gets bounced down. Then you take your hammer and you hit on here. We already did it. Yeah, we already did it. And that's what pulls your pulls your joint on that back corner together nice and tight. When you're doing this, make sure you're careful um, because it will chip this edge. So you need to make sure that your um, floor covering or your wall, your wall that's going to come down on top of it 
is going to cover that edge. So be very, very careful. And um, yeah, now we're ready for more full boards and uh, just get cranking away. I don't think we really have much more to talk about. Um, that's really it. Um, what we're going to do is just set up a time lapse. I love a time lapse. Crank away. And um, then if we run into any crappy parts, we'll let you guys know. This is the last piece of flooring right in this corner. So there it is. Oh, and a surprise perfect fit. Uh, it's pretty good. It's not a surprise, Tyler already tried it. It needs a little tap there. There it is. No one's gonna see it, so whatever. Um, so, all of, not all of the flooring, let me <laughs> rephrase that. A large majority of the flooring is complete. Yeah. Um, the floor floor is down. Yeah, we still have to do over top of the wheel walls. Um, but other than that, yeah, we're done. Alright guys, so we got the floor fully finished. And I just want to talk a little bit about this middle portion of the bus. Right where Sid is standing. Um, so this is where the axle of the bus is. And there's actually a hump in the floor. Um, so the back of the bus is kind of at one angle and in front of the wheels is at another angle. I think that's just over time the frames kind of flexed a bit or even just there's a stiffener there where the axle is attaching to the bottom of the bus. Um, so what we had to do in this location was actually put the board in way in front of the bump, lock it in, and then hammer that board all the way back, keeping it tight all the way back to actually like kind of bend the board <laughs> into place. So it was a little bit of work there. And also along this edge here, we had to we had to put in a piece of plywood and then make our gap based on if we had a piece of plywood in there. Um, so that's another thing that we did. And one more thing, up at the front of the bus up here, um, there is actually this false piece of flooring. Um, so <laughs> Yeah, it looks pretty awful right now, um, but what's under here is actually access to the transmission. Um, so what we'll end up doing is we'll actually probably put like an eighth inch piece of paneling or something on the back side of that and glue all of those pieces to that piece of paneling and then screw it into the floor. In case we ever have to access the transmission, we can uh, lift all that out pretty easily without having to take out the entire floor. Um, so that's that. And um, yeah, it actually went really well. I think it's quite good. I think it looks absolutely beautiful. Sydney's sporting her new Adventures with Boog sweater. Ooh, look at that. And uh, yeah, we got a little bit of garbage there. We got about a box and a half of flooring left, which 
is hopefully enough to finish on top of the wheel wells. Um, but we might have to get one more box. Yeah. Um, so we got 256 square feet of flooring for the bus. And we ended up with about 25 square feet extra. And I think we're going to need about 40 square feet extra. So. We're sitting on our floor. We are sitting on our floor. And we are wearing our brand new merchandise. Very nice. Head over to shop AWB to get some yourself. Um, shipping times are a little bit long right now due to coronavirus, obviously. Um, so maybe wait a little bit, but go check it out. You can order it. It'll come eventually. Yeah, that is true. It'll be a nice surviving quarantine or self-isolation or whatever you do in prison. Yeah, there you go. Um, so that is it for this episode. The flooring is complete until we put up walls, really, because we need to put up that yeah. wall and that wall before we can do on top of the wheel wells and stuff. Um, but that's it. It went really well. Oh, the bus... One day. It was like one day of work. Really? Yeah, it was one day of work. Um, and the bus is just getting so much more homier and homier yeah. and homier every time we're in here. Yeah. It's really awesome. Um, so on the next episode, I think we are going to be doing some um, more bulkheads um, and framing up some walls. I think we got to start putting in some walls so that we can start doing our electrical and mechanical and plumbing and all that stuff that comes after that, but we got to have the walls in first. Um, okay. Burger, burger playing attack. We can have a house. Um, yeah. Um, but guys, if you enjoyed this episode, go down, hit that uh, like button. Don't comment spoopy in the comments down below. Or do it. <laughs> Hunter said today at lunch that if you comment 10 spoopies, he's going to make a drink that's one espresso shot. One can of Red Bull and half a cup of cream. And I'll drink it. If you go down in the comments and put 10 spoopies. Which is awful. I absolutely hate it. You just promised that. But I'll do it. I'll do it I'm if you guys do it. it. We'll and, it. uh, yeah. As always, guys, thanks for watching. And have a great night. Hooks heads are free. <laughs> we need no one for the bus. <laughs> <laughs> just start clapping.